with today is the Houston Rockets. Now, I'll be honest with you, I went to sleep last night. Uh, I was in, going to do the Rockets today, um, but obviously a much different um, perspective I was going to give because I was expecting them to lose. I was up till about midway through the third quarter. It looked like Portland was pulling away. I said enough's enough, and I turned it off, but the Houston Rockets were able to come back from a 21-point deficit. James Harden dropped 46 last night. So uh, hats off to him, carrying the team when they needed him most. I believe it was uh, about 21 points in the second half or something like that. Or no, it was just a 21-point lead that was um, given up by the Portland Trailblazers. Now this has gotten Houston to 29-29. and 29. They're at 500. Um, obviously a lot to go over with them. We look at uh, the statements that were made by their general manager coming out and defending his players, saying that James Horton never asked for Kevin McHale to be fired and never asked for Dwight Howard to be traded. Uh, I respect that the GM is coming out and making those statements. I don't know if, I don't believe James Horton came out and said that. Um, could he have come out and um, wanted Kevin McHale to get fired or made statements that certain things need to be changed? That's certainly a possibility. Uh, I don't believe he asked for Dwight Howard to be traded. I'm sure he wanted Dwight Howard there when they were able to get him and they had some success last season. This is a season that's just been poor for them, obviously. I picked them to win the championship. I'm really looking bad about that right now. But I look at a win last night, and I wonder if that can springboard them forward. They are not too far out of the sixth spot that is currently possessed by the Dallas Mavericks. If you can get up to that, you can avoid um, Golden State or San Antonio in the first round of the playoffs. You'd ideally like to get to fifth to avoid Oklahoma City as well, but certainly um, get up as high up as they can. They have San Antonio coming up tomorrow night. Let's see if they can finally start stringing some wins together. I've you know been talking about Houston all year. Obviously, um, we've seen them get above 500, win a few games in a row, and you're like, all right, this is the time they're turning it around. Then all of a sudden they just give the games back and struggle again. Uh, we're also seeing that they're looking into trading Ty or releasing Ty Lawson. That was why I picked them to win the championship. I was expecting a lot more from Ty Lawson. I've always been a big Ty Lawson fan. He's a lightning fast point guard. I believe that um, his driving ability just in fast break was going to allow Dwight Howard to get some easy dunks, um, free James Harden up. You could uh, allow James Harden to do a little less on the offensive end so he's not carrying the burden but also being able to spot up for threes and get his points that way. And you had guys like Corey Brewer who can certainly shoot the three ball. It hasn't worked out with Ty Lawson, so uh, I would expect if they're discussing it right now, they are going to release him. So we just want to recap that with the Houston Rockets. Um, their uh, general manager coming out and saying that James Harden never asked for a trade. He never uh, asked for... Kevin McHale to be fired, and I'm going to take them at his word. I like that he's coming out and defending his players. I think that's a good sign. Um, we also see if the Houston Rockets now off that big win last night, which I turned off. I'll admit I was expecting them to lose. If they can start springing themselves forward and move on from here and get themselves in the playoff contention. They are in the playoff race as of right now. They, I believe they still occupy the eighth seed with that win, but uh, get up to at least the sixth seed, if not the fifth seed. So they're currently five back of the Memphis Grizzlies. And Memphis, we discussed without Marcus Saul. And when we did the weekly NBA report on Tuesday, we talked about how they may be looking to lose their way out of the playoffs. I wouldn't like to see that um, because I don't ever like seeing teams intentionally lose. But um, that five-game difference is not insurmountable to get all the way up to the fifth seed. Um, let's see if a game like that last night is going to rally this team. And it will be really telling tomorrow night when they have the Spurs at home coming back from Portland, that's still, I mean, even though it's on the West Coast or west of the Mississippi, it's still tough to come back from the Northwest no matter basically where you are in the country. So that's going to be a difficult game for them. But uh, and, uh, obviously the Spurs are one of the best teams in the league. But if they can get that win, they can possibly turn things around. And then the idea of cutting Ty Lawson, it's being discussed right now. And I would expect that they are going to do it. Again, Ty Lawson is the reason I had picked the Rockets to win the title this year because I thought he was going to um, bring a different dimension to the offensive side of the ball for the Rockets. It hasn't worked out. And I would expect that they are going to release him relatively soon. If they're already discussing it, then it's almost certain that he is not going to be a member of the team for much longer. And then we'll see if anyone else is going to want to pick him up.